Hello makers, I am so excited. Today I'm going to show you how to make these fantastic baskets using the recycled range from Paintbox Yarns. They are so quick and easy to make. You'll be making them for everybody you know and every room in the house. So let's get going. So you just have the tail of the yarn over your hand here. Then just nice and loosely, don't do this too tightly, Bring the yarn around your fingers to form a little X marks the spot. Then we put the hook under the first one, pick up the second, then twist it. And then we're going to use this yarn here to make our first loop. There it is. And then I'm just going to bring it through. And when you let go and just bring it round, you've got your magic loop here to the tail and the loop on your right and the working yarn here. So holding on to these two with my fingers, I'm going to work eight single crochets into this magic ring. So we're going to reach in, yarn around and pull through two as the first one. So put the yarn in, pull it through, that's the working yarn. Yarn over, pull through two. Second one, eight. Now, whoops, there we go. So you've got your eight single crochets, that's a double crochet if you're in the UK. Eight single crochets into this ring, and here is the little tail, um, which was the tail from your yarn. Now, in a magic ring, when we pull this, as if by magic, this will close up. So I'm just gonna make that loop a bit bigger. Put the hook down, just hold it there. When I pull this, you'll see it close. There. Now, the tighter you pull it, the firmer it will close. And the reason that we use this is that you don't really want a great big hole at the bottom of your basket. So there we are. So I've pulled that really nice and tight. And later on, we'll weave that in so that it's sturdy. So let's get started with the first round. So the first thing we need to do is to work in rounds to make the base of our basket bigger. So the first round that we're going to do is to put two single crochets into each stitch. So here we go into the first one. And this is why it's essential not to be too loose, but remember that this t-shirt yarn is really stretchy. So I'm going to work two single crochets into that first stitch. So there's two in there, two into the next one. Now you'll find that as you work this, working in with this kind of yarn with a great big hook can make your hands ache a bit. So make sure that as you go, you stop, do a few little finger exercises. We've got a video for that. So you can see how to rest your hands and stretch your fingers so that you don't get any cramp. And if you do have any pain at all, stop and give your hands a rest. Right, here we go, coming up now to the last two of the round. So that's doubled up the number of stitches that we have. Let's have a look there. So. There's the, the second round. So we have these two stitches in each one, in each of the first ones. Now I'm going to move the marker up to the next round. Now, if we carried on adding stitches all the time, uh, like this, two in each row, two in each row, it would just turn into uh, a hat. So we've got to interspace them a little bit with just normal stitches. Okay, so for round three, the next thing we're going to do is to add two stitches into the first stitch and then one in the next. So I'm going to put two single crochets into the first stitch and then into the second stitch, I'm just going to put one. So we're starting to space out our increases. So I'm going to put two into the next stitch. Slippery. Whoops. Two into there. 
and one into the next stitch. And we carry on working like that until we get to the end of the round. So now I have completed round three, which is a little increased round. I'm gonna do that again. And again, to make sure that we don't start curling up, I'm going to put two stitches into one stitch and then two singles. And then as it continues, we'll be going on the next round, two stitches and then three, and then two stitches and then four. So it spaces the increases out all the way round until you get, I'm just gonna show you, to a much bigger circle like this. So let's start the increases for round four. So here I've moved a stitch marker so that it's on this next row, so we know where we are. And remember, we're just working in a spiral, so there's no need to join each round. Off we go. Two single crochet, that's a double if you're in the UK. Two singles, and then this time we do Oops, one, two in each stitch, and then we come back to doing two again. So that's two in this stitch, and then two single crochets. And that is the way we're going to work around two, and then single, single, two, single, single. So I'll see you at the end of the round. Right, I've finished that next increase round. Now, if you're going to make the basket, which is the fantastic paint box basket, uh, you'd be carrying on with these increases until you got to the bottom of the size of the basket that you want to make. And I'm just going to show you this one. This is the size of the medium basket. Um, there are two sizes in the pattern. and it's, it's just the same as we've done here, but you just carry on with those increases. Now, what we're going to do is that rather than go out and out and out, we've now got to come up. So we're going to change the angle of the stitches and instead of working them along the side, we're just going to change things so that they're going to come up. And the way that we do that is to work into just one of the loops of a stitch. First thing I'm going to do, because we're starting a sort of a new section, is I'm going to slip stitch to join into the beginning of the round, which is here. So just as normal, I'm just going to slip stitch in, pull that through, and that sets me up for the next round. I'm going to work a row or a round of slip stitches into just the back loop. So I'm going to go into the back loop, pull the yarn through, and then straight through again. There's a slip stitch. So I'm going to go into the next one, pull it through, and through again. And put it into the back loop of the stitch, pull the yarn through, and through. And if I just do one more, and I'll show you what we've come up with. So you can see that the next row of these stitches is just sitting on the top of the ones below. I'll show you from the side. Instead of going outwards this way, it's coming up. Okay, so we've now worked um, a round of slip stitches into the top of the circle. And I've just got to the end here. So here's my the first stitch of the round where I put my stitch marker. So I'm just gonna work one more into the back loop. And then, I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch through both. So that's the beginning of the round. And then I'm going to chain one and we're going to work our first round into the whole stitch on the top now. So instead of just the back loop, we're going to work both legs of the stitches there under each stitch, just in just a regular single crochet. So you can see the base and the row of slip stitches. And now with this first row of single crochet, we're coming up the sides. So I'm just gonna work a row of single crochet all the way around into the whole stitch, and meet you back here. So we've worked this first row of single crochet all the way around into the slip stitches. I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the beginning of the round again here. Now, 
from this point onwards, and you can see how it's starting to come up, we're going to work in a spiral, just carrying on, putting your single crochets all the way round and keep going. So I shall switch over now to a bigger basket and show you how we do the bobbles. And then as it comes a bit further up, we make this lovely handle. Now, you can see how nice and strong that is. So I'm gonna show you now how we work these bobbles.